This is Tuesday Cafe. We're broadcasting live on October 1st from the studios of WMNF in Tampa. I'm Sean Canan, and now we're going to our next guest, who is Andy Oliver, pastor of Allendale United Methodist Church in Northeast St. Petersburg. Welcome back to Tuesday Cafe, Andy. Hey, thanks for having me on here. Yeah, I'm really glad you could come on, and I hope that you and your community escape major damage from the hurricane. Yeah, uh, some of our people uh, experienced floods just like everyone else did. Um, myself, the church uh, experienced minimal damage, but we're trying to use that, um, you know, the elevation privilege we have to help other people uh, that weren't so lucky. So you mentioned the elevation privilege that you were talking about. You're in Northeast St. Pete, which was one of the hardest hit areas besides Barrier Islands. And um, what can you tell us about how things fared in Northeast St. Pete? Especially, I'd like to know about losing the ability to get rid of water, like by flushing toilets and so forth. Yeah, uh, I lost sewage for, I think, maybe 35 hours um, in order for the city to save uh, that water reclamation uh, area. Uh, it was a minor inconvenience. I had to find places to use the bathroom and and shower to friend's house, but uh, nothing like what what people in Shore Acres and and other low lying areas experience in our city, especially out on the beaches. Um, like I said, uh, you know, Allendale neighborhood happens to be one of the highest points in Pinellas County, so we're trying to use uh, this place that we're at to provide, um, you know laundry in our in our parking lot and then and then also we're organizing teams we have a couple hundred volunteers that we're organizing and sending out to houses to help them demuck and let's let's talk right now about the laundry facility that you're offering you're teaming up with the city of st petersburg if people need to do laundry they can come to your church so tell us the address and what are the details if people need to get laundry services yeah it's open uh with free detergent from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. I think technically it's open 24 seven, but the laundry detergent will be there 7 a.m., 7 p.m. And if you need any help, they'll, they'll be staffed during that hour. Uh, there's about 40 machines um, in two trailers that are air conditioned. Uh, the address is 3803 Haynes Road North in St. Petersburg, or you can Google map Allendale United Methodist Church. It's out there in our parking lot. I wanna give a big shout out to Amy Foster who's on staff at the city. Um, she has, uh, she and her team have not only done this laundry facility, but they partnered with other laundromats across St. Pete to offer free laundry service. Uh, the best way to know about all of the opportunities um, with laundry or with free food is to go to um, the city of St. Pete's uh, Facebook page. And they're constantly updating that with all the different opportunities to to serve our neighbors that that need help right now. And if you're not in St. Pete, the other governments around the area also have information on their websites. You can find some of that information on WMNF.org. So Reverend Oliver, what are some of the things, some of the services that you and your community are providing besides the laundry? What are you finding out that, that people are needing the most right now? Uh, right now we're focused on organizing volunteers. We have some professionals that know how to go into a home and help people decide what needs to go out into the curb, what could be saved, uh, to, to actually pull up flooring, uh, to get the drywall that's wet out of the house so the house can start drying, all those things that are necessary to save a house that's experienced uh, some flooding. And so if you are one in need of, of having those services at your house from uh, trained volunteers, uh, you can call 844-965-1386. I have it here on a piece of paper. 844-965-1386 is the number to call if you need services. So that goes to your church. and, and That goes to an help. emergency uh, a hotline, and they will take your information. And not only my church, but uh, groups like Samaritan's Purse and other organizations that are coming into the area, they will be working this hotline as well. So this is the best way to get on a list to get some trained volunteers out to your house to help you move things um, or whatever else you need done. Uh, the other opportunity, if you want to volunteer, if you want to be a part of, of our team and we're sending out yesterday, I think we demucked three homes the day before we did four homes. Um, 
you can go to uh, this website, allendaleumc.org forward slash Helene. And uh, that's an opportunity for you to sign up to volunteer. Again, that's allendaleumc.org forward slash Helene. And you'll just be put on a list. You'll be trained. You'll be given text messages during the day of different addresses we're going to. You can meet us there with tools uh, to help um, people survive the aftermath of this storm. One of the points that we've mentioned on the air and also we heard at the top of the hour when NPR news headlines was was talking about flooded houses, you know, eventually, maybe soon people can return to their houses that were flooded. But one of the recommendations that's being made is that if your house was flooded, especially if it was above the electrical outlets, you need to get someone there who knows about electricity. You need to go turn off your electrical um, power at the source before you enter your your building. Um, and I, you know, you're, you're more in touch maybe with what's happening there on the ground in, in, uh, the flooded areas of St. Petersburg, especially Northeast St. Pete, besides muck removal and drywall removal, what are some of the things that maybe we hadn't thought about that people are, are having to deal with right now? Your appliances are probably gone. Uh, the most important electrical appliance to make sure First, turn off the circuit breaker, then make sure your oven is unplugged. If you have any, um, uh, you know, electrical things on the floor, including um, surge protectors, those need to go. Just because a surge protector is dried out doesn't mean it's safe. And so if you plug in that surge protector, uh, when things are dried out, uh, it, it very well could cause a fire. A lot of the fires we're seeing right now are from ovens turning back on and uh, surge protectors. And so all of that for safety needs to be thrown out uh, if it was impacted by water. Unfortunately, a lot of our ovens have a very low uh, plug. And so those outlets were, you know, and they're putting through a lot of current, we're, we're, we're below the flood line. And so um, it's really important to be safe with uh, electrical. Well, our guest is, Andy Oliver, who is pastor of Allendale United Methodist Church in Northeast St. Petersburg. This is Tuesday Cafe. We're broadcasting live on October 1st from the studios of WMNF Tampa. I'm in Sean, I'm Sean Canan, and we're going to be opening the phones in just a moment, in just a little bit, to have ask you to tell us what you're experiencing, what you went through during the storm, how your recovery is going, what kind of help you need, what kind of services are out there that you know about so you can, you're welcome to phone in at 813-239-9663. You can also text us at 813-433-0885. If you text or email, please sign your name and tell us where you're, you're, uh, where you are. You can email us at dj at wmnf.org. Well, Reverend Oliver, I, I don't want to hold you up too long. I, I want you to be able to, to go back and, uh, you know, be a, a big help in the community like you've been. But uh, before I let you go, I just want to say, is there, are there any other messages that you have for our audience? Any other things that you think that people are really out there needing or, um, or things that people should know about? Yeah, I think people have experienced trauma. And so uh, we need to have grace with one another. Uh, we need to check in. Uh, check in on your neighbors. Um, sometimes uh, when we go to a home to assess it, we are the first people they have talked to. And uh, so a listening ear, um, you know, uh, just knowing that someone cares and, and certainly encouraging people that have experienced trauma to seek uh, a mental health professional uh, because we've all been through a lot, even if our houses weren't impacted. And uh, this isn't a time to ignore our, our mental health as well. Sometimes we get distracted by our things that get messed up instead of um, worrying about ourselves. And, and now's the time also to care for ourselves as well. Well, I want to thank you so much for coming on Tuesday Cafe, Andy. All right. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much. Reverend Andy Oliver is pastor of Allendale United Methodist Church in Northeast St. Petersburg. This is Tuesday Cafe. We're broadcasting live on October 1st from the studios of WMNF in Tampa.